What started as a crowdfunding project in 2019 has become one of the biggest sensations in Christian TV history. The Chosen is the first multi-season series to depict the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. According to Angel Studios, in 2023, the show surpassed 100 million viewers and 500 million streams. Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus, has become a globally recognized figure, and his fame has led him on a deeper faith journey and a new endeavor. My life has gotten pretty insane the last year. Now, Rumi is partnering with Amazon Prime to release Jonathan and Jesus. It is a four-part docu-series that follows the actor as he takes a closer look at who Jesus is and how he still impacts the world. We recently spoke with Jonathan about the new series, his incredible faith journey, and his reliance on God. And joining us now is Jonathan Rumi. Thank you so much for being here, Jonathan. We really appreciate it. Can you tell us a, a little pleasure. bit more about the series and what made you, you know, want to take this journey with the cameras tagging along? You know, uh, when I got the opportunity, first of all, thank you for having me, Tracy. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, to talk to you guys. Um, when I got the opportunity to meet with Pope Francis, um, a couple of the producers of that um, event on on uh, on my side, on the chosen side, said, "Hey, you know, we think there would be there would be some uh, real interest in seeing your journey in in not only meeting the Pope, but like how you got to this point." Um, what it's like to, uh, as uh, you know a day in the life of, of playing Jesus, what the impact is on fans around the world, and what um, your experiences are when you have these fan interactions, and then talk to other you know artists and professionals and thinkers and um, speakers about uh, the impact of Jesus on the culture throughout. And it just seemed like such an interesting and unique concept that nobody had ever done anything like this before. And uh, I, I thought, you know what, if there's an opportunity that somebody can hear my personal story and and how God has been so uh, faithful to me and how he's taken me from the very bottom and, and bringing me through this level of success, of success, maybe it'll inspire other people to to kind of keep uh, going with, with their dreams and, and, and the, uh, the inspirations that God has put in their heart um, and ultimately, you know, get closer to him by, by surrendering to him and letting him take the lead, which is what I did uh, and to get to this point. Yeah, and I understand your sister Olivia said that, that you've always really been seeking Jesus. Can you explain mm. that a bit more and why maybe, you know, that is the case in your life? You know, um, the Savior of mankind, you know, uh, when, when you start a relationship with him, uh, I think he wants more from you. And as you start giving him more, he asks for more. Uh, and then he gives you more as a result of of that of that seeking um he 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 just continues to imbue your life with um so much joy and and goodness and um at times just flat out miracles um all by just committing to 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 wanting to to serve christ as as a you know, as an ambassador for him on this planet as part of the human race. And I think the essence of Jonathan and Jesus is capturing what that opportunity has been and how it's affected me and changed me um, as I travel around the world talking to to other people that know much more about Jesus theologically uh, and can speak much more eloquently than I can about um, about the theology of it all. And then, and then just the culture, you know, the cultural impact. So a lot of different viewpoints in the series um, and and a lot of different ideas and other people's examples of their encounters with Jesus that to me is the real fascination is watching these other, you know, major uh, artists and, and musicians talk about their experience and their relationship. And, and it just kind of makes me feel like, OK, you know, there there's more of us out there that have this relationship that aren't you know, afraid to to share that with people. And then that inspires other people to to either look into Jesus or to talk about their faith or to want to know more about him. So um yeah, it's just it's just been an, an awesome opportunity for me to to get to to deepen that relationship and, and to get to know him more through this uh, documentary. Yeah, it sounds absolutely amazing. Um and really quickly before you we let you go, Jonathan, what do you hope viewers uh, take away from the series? I hope that they 
learn that through seeing how my life has unfolded the last five years, that anything is possible if you surrender to God, if you surrender any aspect of your life that you're holding on to really, really tightly, and, and, and you haven't seen movement by, by letting go of the reins and by letting God and depending on him and letting him uh, step in and, and take the reins from you and just go with his flow, anything is possible. Well, we cannot wait to see it. Thank you for doing it. Jonathan, Jesus is out Thanks, now Teresa. on Amazon Prime. Jonathan Rumi, thank you so much for being here and God bless you. God bless you, Tracy. Bye-bye.